Yo, what's up you guys? It's MK Killer and I haven't been able to upload any videos in a while as you guys know for all my subscribers and I've been uploading Battlefield Bad Company 2 for a little bit but I've got a lot of great reviews on that nice comments, uh, lots of likes, lots of views so I'm happy for that but I'm going to take a little break from Battlefield and I'm going to show you one of my Search and Destroy games, SND and this is a little treat because this is one of my best games. This is my second best game of me playing Modern Warfare 2 in Search and Destroy. Um, if you guys are wondering, my best game was 23 and 3 uh, for Scrapyard. And I was using the MP5K and I was rushing. But today I'm going to play a little bit differently. I'm going to have a mixture of rushing and a mixture of basically playing smart, staying back, and actually playing the actual game instead of rushing on defense and offense. So there's going to be some great tips in this, and hopefully you guys can learn something and enjoy this commentary. Alright, well, as usual, I am using Ninja Pro because it is, you know, search and destroy. You can't use anything else unless you're quick scoping. But Ninja Pro must and stopping power as usual, seeing as it's normal. And today I'm actually switching it up a little bit. You'll notice that my G18s have way more ammo than they're supposed to have. That is because I am using Bling Pro. I'm using FMJ and Red Dot on my ACR and I'm using Extended Mags and of course Akimbo on my G18. What else can I use for those Glocks? And my basic strategy for this is I always rush up to here um, and I just watch Burger Town. If you guys know what that is, that is where I was looking at basically. And right now I am very confused because I seem, it seems that my UAV was telling me there was a guy there. But the logic of like the world, like if that makes any sense, of what I was thinking right now was I just got to escalator, I rushed there, there's no way there's a guy planning it, but nope, there was a guy planning it, so there's some unexpected things. I found that a little awkward, but I managed to kill him and take him out, so I was pretty happy right there. And I managed to get my prayer missile, which is always good, and always get you your hair, even if it's S and D. And as usual, I'm running up this escalator, and I'm trying to pick people off, but I was very scared right there because... It seems the team I am playing right now is more of a rusher team, but luckily I called out to my teammates, help me out, help me out, and they took them out. Right here, I should have boosted it with my prayer missile a little bit faster. Probably would have got a double kill, would have got my hair, but now I got got to get the hair the hard way, which is actually killing the guy. So I'm playing a little safe right now. I don't really want to die. I'm one off a hair that can really benefit my team and myself. So I'm staying back trying to pick people off, but I believe I go up here and go on a little run. Uh, there's a couple guys left, but I think I take out three. Um, I'm basically listening in. Uh, I see a guy right there, and I hear another guy coming. I drop shot him right here, take him out, and I switch to my G18s because I have low ammo, and I spray this guy out. And Right away, after taking up three of their members in less than 20 seconds, I'm obviously going back and playing defense. And as you guys know, this is uh, uh, seven round. It's uh, it's seven rounds. It's all rounds, so I had to fast forward through some parts. But don't worry, most of them are boring, so you're not really missing much. You just miss a little 1v1 clutch. Not really that big. Um, what, uh, I like what this guy did. I, I faked the fuse, but... He shouldn't have came in, you probably should have tossed a nade or something, but when you it's always good to run away from the bomb when you plant so you know you don't get taken out. And it's always good to lob nades, shoot through walls so you don't get taken out. And there is a lot of fast forwarding through this. I am very sorry you guys, it is not my fault, but it is a long ass game. But all this is boring parts, nothing too special. I'm just gonna waste your time if I show you this. And plus I need to make the video a little bit shorter because of YouTube. Uh, kind of sucks that you can't show everything you want to. But this is a 14 minute game and I believe none of you would even want to waste your time watching 14 minutes of my SMD. 
And I got really lucky right there. I managed to take that guy out with a little bounce shot with my ACR. And right now I'm deciding not to plant the bomb as you saw right there. Because I want to play that around. And I get taken out by that guy. I did see him, but I just... Alright, now we're back to normal mode, which is good. And just to let you guys know, um, it is okay with my teammates because all of them are basically my friends and I'm like hey guys can we play another round and lose this one everyone's like sure man and you know I got a commentated game because they said yes so thanks for them thank you guys and right now I'm me and my team are basically trying to push the plane now this is um basically the only bomb you really want to push at first because if you go through hallway, or if you go through that other area to the non-plane side, I believe A, uh, you will get taken out by my spot. You know that uh, escalator spot that I told you guys earlier? That was an easy spot to take people out. Very good. That's why I never go that way or I'll get taken out. So I always go to plane unless my teammates say otherwise. Uh, or there we take we, or we pick people off then we go for a but right now I'm just playing a little defensively because there's just me and one other of my teammates alive right now I heard that guy coming so I was able to take him out so me and this guy are just communicating we're talking a lot and we're basically trying to push here now right here I'm telling him should I go through library or hallway and he's like no man let's just both push right here so, you know, we're both pushing right here. We have a good push. And he sees a guy, but he doesn't call him out, which I was uh, kind of frustrated with. But common sense, I knew he was up there, so I took him out. And I say, cover me. I'm planting the bomb. Now, what I didn't like here was I saw my teammate running away from me, so I stopped defusing the bomb. I don't want to die. I'm on a big, nice kill streak. Oh, wait, no. I believe I died. And my teammate got taken out, and I immediately immediately reacted and I tried doing some jump shot 360 something I almost got him but you know not strong enough I couldn't get him but that's not it this is the last round it is a very tense round I do take out majority of their team thanks to this round so I'm as usual I'm pushing to the plane and right here I'm just hard aiming trying to see what I can do but no one's coming out it is the beginning of the round and everyone's just split up I'm trying to watch the flank because if you ever play a good team and if you're safe for instance playing competitively always watch the flank if you're if there's a guy on defense and they know you're pushing somewhere it's they're bound to send at least one guy and thank god for FMJ right there uh, that's why I love FMJ and my ACR uh, the ACR has, is the most accurate gun in the game, in my opinion, and it's very steady, very easy to use, and with FMJ, it gets that extra kick that makes it like a three-bullet kill, so. And right there, I tried to do a nade. Um, I think I got a hit marker, actually. I'm not sure. I tried to do a nade at A. I uh, didn't get anyone, though. And now me and my teammates are still trying to push this plane. It's not really working out right now until my friend Jared pushes down and one of these guys one of these guys I think go through the normal way and you see me like doing some weird dance right now that's because I was trying to get on this ledge so I don't drop down and get taken out so right now I'm just being patient I have the bomb I'm I'm hope I'm hoping that my teammates go first and you know they're going through front and I'm like okay I'll watch this um to A and then I'll go to the back and that's the guy that took me out earlier. I figured, hey, he must think that's a really good spot for taking people out. So I'm just going to go back there, be very careful, check every corner, and take him out. And I managed to take that guy out that was running out. Knew that we were po possibly playing the bomb at B. And everyone right now knows that he is up top at Flame Barrels. It's just me and my teammate left. Uh, my other teammate got naded, Jared. Uh, that was Kispix who got taken out, so I'm about to try and plant the bomb. Just make sure he can't see me right now. Um, just planting the bomb right now. Uh, my teammate is off in La La Land, not doing anything. He's, I believe he's trying to take out the guy. He ate bullets. I was very surprised here because I do have FMJ and Red Dot, so he did not die. And 
Now, I'm alone. My teammate died. It's just me and him. And I run back into the plane. Uh, as I said before, you want to get away from the plane. So as soon as I, that prayer missile is gone, I get out of the plane. And I see go to the most common spot that you might go to. Now, when you're basically playing defense, guys, and you plant the bomb, waste time. That's all you need to do, guys. Just waste time. Uh, like I do here, perfect example. There's no time left. Five seconds. You gotta defuse the bomb, man. What are you gonna do? Defuse the bomb, and I take him out. Just hide unless you hear it, uh, defuse, and, you know, throw a nade, I don't know, and just wait till five seconds are left, and then take him out. Just like that. Alright, guys, this is MK Killer, and I hope you guys enjoyed video and please rate comment and subscribe and tell me what you want to see